We share this next story. We need to warn you the details are hard to hear. A woman in Orlando was found hanging from a tree. Orlando police have said they believe she committed suicide. But her family thinks that someone else is responsible for her death. West News tonight, Gabriel Gettias explains why her loved ones and activists are now calling for accountability. My sister was loving. She was cared for. She was my mother's caretaker. The family of Yolna Lubrin says she was a happy-go-lucky woman with a great sense of humor. They say she would have turned 31 years old this month, but she'll never see another birthday. Her life ended in a way her family describes as a mystery that needs to be solved. On September 28th, uh, 2023, Thursday, at approximately 7 a.m. in the morning, the partially nude body of 30-year-old Yolna Lubrin was found hanging from a tree in the back of a home in Orlando, Florida. The Orange County Medical Examiner tells West 2 the cause of Lubrin's death is still under investigation, but Orlando Police Department believes the cause was suicide. In a statement, OPD said in part, while all death investigations are predicated upon the existence of trauma to the body in order to determine a criminal act, our investigation has thus far not revealed any physical injuries other than the ligature marks on the neck caused by the hanging. Because my sister, Yona Ruth Lubrin, did not commit suicide. She Lubrin's older sister was joined by two community activists Wednesday morning as she talked about her family's loss. She's not a case number, but she's a person that tragically lost her life. OPD says that there's documented history of mental illness, witness statements, and cell phone communications from Lubrin that showed signs of suicide. Lubrin's body was found in the backyard of a home near West Livingston Street and North Westmoreland Drive. Her family says as far as they know, she had no connection to that neighborhood. That she didn't put herself there, someone had to have put her there. Investigate all individuals who lived or occupied the home of where Mrs. Lubrin's body was found. In Orlando, Seneca Brigadigas, Watch 2 News. Orlando police says it never takes death cases lightly and that Lubrin's case is still an open investigation. If you or someone you know may be struggling with their mental health, please call 911 or the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988.